YouTube, what up, what up, man? It's Joe Simmer. Yo, check me out, man. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys an in-depth uh, tutorial on how to beat Cover 3. All right. Um, so this video is going to be specifically for Cover 3. I'm going to drop another video on Cover 4, another video on Cover 2, and then man. Okay, so um, instead of just showing you maybe one or two plays, how to beat Cover 3, and then I go into Cover 4 in one video, you're not going to really understand. You're not going to truly understand what I'm talking about. And there's some things that go through my mind that maybe you guys can learn from whenever I play a cover three uh, defense. Okay, so that's why I specifically want to tailor this video to cover three. So if you like what you see, you know, definitely please, you know, just hit the like button, man. That helps a ton. That's all I ask is you guys just hook me up with a like. Uh, if you're new here, don't subscribe just yet, man. Watch the video if you like what you see you can hit the subscribe button you know for sure but let's hop into it man a typical cover three right so three through five boom they hop into mike blitz right the typical meta right so usually in a cover three you have a you have a middle blue all right you got you got a, a middle third with uh one of the safeties dropping into a curl flat okay um now the weak spots in cover three there are so many weak spots okay so let's go over the weak spots in cover three the number one weak spot is this right here this is called a seam so the seams are very very are a huge weak spot vice versa same thing over here because this corner is dropping all the way over here so you have this whole area and if you have gunslinger it's an easy read all right so those areas are the weak spot okay the next weak spot is going to be um a smoke screen okay and cover three if you have at least one smoke screen over here you know as soon as you call hike uh circle's just gonna come over here and chill right here while this guy's backing up all the way so you have a free you know you have a free catch and run at least get six yards on it so if you got if you play a lot of cover three um smoke screens are a great way to be cover three if you're if, if you know if you're playing a cover three defense uh so a lot of smoke screens now next is going to be out routes okay uh this outside third will not play out routes that well okay so if you one of the things that i like to do is if i am if i have an out route on there um you can have a little five yard out route or you can smart route them okay so to smart route them is uh you know you click on the icon and then you hit r1 on playstation okay xbox probably the same thing but you hit r1 and what that's going to do is it's going to smart route them to the next first down okay and as soon as he cuts then you throw it now i always recommend that you, if you're if you guys are going to throw an out route um i always recommend that you guys throw the out route to the short side does that make sense because if i throw an out route to square that's a really bad idea number one i don't have gunslinger with lamar jackson so you have to play this very very cautiously you know what i'm saying so out route if you're gonna throw an out route you want it on the short side all right so this is what's gonna look like right i'm gonna try to hit this out route as you see here boom it's easy money now that was it smart routed okay now we're gonna do the same thing so we're gonna go over all these routes real quick all right so this is what it looks like right here uh so i'm gonna do that boom i have it again so you can either hit versus cover three you can either hit a smart routed out route or you can hit just a normal five yards you know just pick you up a solid five yards get you an easy first down or whatever it is okay so that's one of the first things and like i said you know the seams are a weak spot now in, in a real game, I would never want brown on a smoke screen. You know, you want brown in the slot, something like that, but I didn't change anything. So as you see here, you know, boom, brown is wide open. And then I try to get sticky with it and I can pick up some yards. So no matter what, you can continue to always move forward. You know what I mean? You may not get a huge play up front, but it is what it is. And you can just take what you can get, man. And, you know, that's that. So right here boom four verts right look at x right here bad pass but x is open 
So if I have somebody faster, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like with the tight end there. Let me sub in a, a wide receiver and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so watch this. This is exactly what I'm talking about. So watch Brown, right? Watch Marquise Brown. So I have that uh, circle on an out route. Do that. Now, what you're going to do is as soon as he passes a safety, you're just going to pass lead up. You see the difference? It's a huge difference, okay? So that's why you have to be careful whenever you have somebody like that. All right, next thing we're going to go over in cover three, okay? Um, a nice way to beat cover three is going to be a dig route. All right, you can either call this a dig route or a stop route. All right, whatever it is, okay? So then you can kind of mix it up. You see what I'm saying? You kind of mix it up. You have a smoke screen, you got a dig route, and then you have a seam route, and then an out route. I mean, this is, you know, not a bad combo, right? So you just call hike right here, dig routes open, boom, I have triangle on right there in the slot. Okay? So one of the th one of the things that you need to be aware about is if you're playing all Madden, these guys kind of match on differently. See, he he sticks on this guy. And if you're patient enough, he'll drop back down. Because it's just the way the game works. It's the way they match on. So this corner has to play too. So now he just chills in the middle. You can just hit this guy. You see what I'm saying? It's a very, very easy way to beat cover three. All right. Now check this out right here. You got the out route. Boom. Right? You got the out route. What I tell you earlier, what I tell you about Marquise Brown, right? You want your fastest guy in the seam because cover three weak spot is a seam and you have to wait for it boom as soon as you see him pass the safety because that safety is dropping down so as soon as i call hike what i look at is i look at the safeties boom all right i see that safety drop i immediately know it's a touchdown all you have to do is you have to wait for it wait for it and then right there you don't pass lead inside otherwise it's going to be picked off you pass lead up just directly up pass lead up all right now like i said this this corner is never going to play an out route and cover three he will never play an out route all right unless, he just won't you know unless you have Jair alexander or something maybe because his awareness and his play recognition is really good but i really i highly doubt that too and as you see here i got a free first down right here all right, so I didn't throw either of those. And I noticed a corner on there, right? So I noticed a corner matching on. Now I could hit this smoke screen right here easily. Or if I just chill and I'm patient enough, then he's gonna come wide open. Now, if their user is going to, you know, be in the middle or whatever, cool. And then I'll just hit the out route. So it's very very simple man beating cover three is very simple now Let's hop into a little bit of a of a more advanced technique. So here we are, right? So they're in Mike blitz or whatever, right? They're gonna press pass commit Whatever they want QB contained because it's Lamar Jackson, whatever whatever they feel that they need to do All right now one of the best ways to beat cover three and You know a little bit more advanced technique is going to be a crossing route specifically you want your fastest guy right here in the circle position they have marquise brown 97 speed all i have to do is wait for him to get above the corner and the safety pass lead up and it's a touchdown you know what i'm saying um what i can do is i can just leave walk-ins right there all right and then i can have triangle on a dig route or a stop route okay so we can start off with this right here and as you see, watch Marquise Brown gonna get right over that cornerback, pass lead up, and it's basically a touchdown every time. Zone drops and stuff like that. Then as soon as you see them audible and you know they're playing Mike Blitz, put the tight end on a streak route, and then just run this way, pass lead up, get a nice little swerve catch. That's gonna be open all the time. Okay, you don't really have to worry about it. All right, so crossing routes, easy way to beat it now let's hop in a bunch okay we're gonna hop in a bunch and then after that i'm gonna show you dollar real quick all right here we are so now we're in bunch all right a great way to beat cover three uh most people you know whatever they'll they'll come over here probably baseline their defense and press okay so they're in a nice little cover three right here um i'm in this play called a uh, spacing switch 
all right now this play is really good stock you can quick hike uh you can do whatever now in this case remember we're on the right hash so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna flip it i'm gonna flip my bunch i'm gonna run it this way and all i'm gonna do is call hike to begin with as you see here i got the tight end right there okay so the user is gonna have to guard a little too much space same thing right base align press right so this is what it's going to look like right here they may even you know once they see that blitz this guy qb contain right try to get me off guard or something try to get a nice little sack and that's not going to work because right here if i wanted to i could hit that the user's probably going to be right there um and stuff like that now another good way to to run this play all right is going to be to motion out this square route and streak r1 all right you motion him out and then you have a touchdown okay that's a really good way remember what i said seam routes all right those streak routes versus cover three very very important and if you have a motion out route it's killer so you know the weak spots are that seam and then i also have you know the backside or whatever um uh, by press or whatever and they bring this guy in right he'll probably play that pretty good so i'm just gonna make a read right here and i have square on an out route you see how easy it is all you have to do is you just have to you have to figure out you have to know the weak spots okay remember what i said in cover three the guys aren't going to play an out route so you always want some sort of streak out route combo all right so another play you can run is i mean it's literally the same thing um now what you can do is you can even have you know you can even motion out the running back even though it obviously gives it away that it's a pass but that's okay because your money receivers during this play are going to be triangle r1 and square and at and x so i mean you have so many reads uh the only thing is you can't motion homeboy out all right so but he's still going to get open because it's cover three all right so it's a great way uh to kind of mix it up now we're going to hop into verts all right you're going to want to flip it all right so this is what this is what it's going to look like right here all right now what i like to do whenever i play verts whenever i'm in uh verts or whatever right let's say they switch it up a little bit all right they do what they gotta do they'll probably use her this guy or something like that right so it's gonna look like this now you have the crossing route and what i did is i put square on a streak route so you can either do that um or you can do this right here okay what i'm doing is i'm putting square on a flat route and i'm going to motion him out now what that's going to do is leave the seam wide open remember what i told you seam routes man the motion motion him out and now watch the tight end tight end is going to be money right there all day every day See what i mean you see i'm i'm kind of like i'm manipulating the defense a little bit okay so you just kind of all it is is what's the weak spot the weak spot in cover three is a seam route okay so instead of having square on a streak route which i could what i'm gonna do is just have him on a flat route motion him motion him out triangle's gonna uh the tight end's gonna be money that's a great way it's another great way to beat cover three all right now let's hop into dollar cover three cloud all right so now we are playing dollar okay dollar cover three cloud is really really hard to beat um now there's something that you guys need to understand which i put a video out on this called how to read the defense okay so you ha if you haven't seen that how to read a defense video by the way if you're still watching the video hit the subscribe button but yeah um i put out a video last year on how to read a defense that video was ex phenomenal so i will make another video on how to read a defense but for those of you who don't know just by looking at it you can see where the cloud is now obviously i showed you the play art but if you were not aware of what defense this is but you know it's some sort of cover three the corners will give away that it's a cover three cloud all right now check this out jackson right here on the left side okay this jackson guy was standing directly above square he's standing directly above him so that means that this guy is in a third, uh, outside third. 
just bear with me listen to this real quick now you go over here to bradbury he is outside of circle he is to the outside of the receiver anytime you see a corner that is directly above a receiver he's directly above him he's not on the inside he's not on the outside that jackson guy is directly above him so he will just drop straight back now look at bradbury bradbury is on the outside of circle anytime you see a corner on the outside of the receiver that is cover two but he is in a cloud it's, it's not cover two but he's in a cloud that's what i mean so as soon as you see that I do have Andrews over there, probably not going to work, but you want a streak route, okay? You want a streak route. As soon as he gets over there, you kind of want to pass lead to the outside. See what I'm saying? All right, now we're going to do this. Is I'm going to go into cover three, and I'm going to do random cover three, all right? And I'm going to try to dissect cover three with you guys right quick. All right, so I come out in my play. Really? So now we are in, right, we're in a cover three, um, I haven't looked at the play and so all I'm gonna do is press and as soon as I press it's gonna give it away now I know for a fact this is a cover three cloud okay this is the same thing that I just ran because you have you have Bateman and the guy uh, the corner on him is directly above him see what I'm saying now look at Bradbury again right that's a cover three cloud so then you pass lead to that side. That's literally the same thing that we just ran. As you look at the outside corners and it'll give it away. Right here. I don't know why they keep doing this. Okay, so let me just see what we'll see what else pops up. Alright, cool. Cover three, right? Now, whenever they press, it gives it away. Alright, cool. So it's cover three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to four verts. Triangle should be money. As you see here. Four verts, the seam route is always going to be a weak spot. So you come into practice mode and you keep doing this right here. All right, so as you see here, um, the outside corners are directly above both receivers, okay? So you have, you have Andrews has a corner, but he's directly above him. He's not to the outside, all right? You have this guy, that corner is directly above him. He's not to the outside. And you have one high safety. So everybody's going to drop back. And then there's going to be one safety in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, I'm going to run something like this. Okay. I'm going to have, um, this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a smoke screen with the slant with the out route. So I'm going to run this right here. I'm going to block my, I'm going to run this right here actually. Okay. So this is what something I would run is, is you always want to have some sort of crosser out route smoke screen or something like that. All right, now X is going to drag. See that right there? X is going to take that safety with him and the out route is going to bring that corner down. I hope that makes sense. So the money play, whenever you see a coverage like that, the money play is going to be no matter what this crossing route, okay? He's just gonna come right in the middle. Now. Remember, I told you guys several times, this guy right here, anytime in, and when he's in the outside third, he will never, ever, ever, ever play an out route, okay? So you have the out route. That out route right here is going to pull this linebacker to the outside, okay? So you're, you're setting up, what you're doing is you're setting up this crossing route to be wide open. It's all a setup for this guy right here, okay? So seam routes are a weak spot, boom, I'm gonna streak him. He has to match on no matter what. And then this guy will never play an out route. So he's always going to come down here and he will never match on to this guy ever. He will never match on to a crossing route. So your only reads, obviously, you know, what you could do is you could have, you know, stop route right here or whatever, but you want to, you want to space the defense out. And that's what I'm doing is I'm pulling this guy, pulling this linebacker away. Boom. Free him up, pass lead up, nice little dot, man. So that's just, those are simple ways to beat cover three. Cover three cloud. All right, here's a nice little cover three cloud or whatever, right? Typical cover three. Now, remember, 
a little routes like these where they're stock like a stock little dig route are going to be money every time boom so you always want to find member spacing switch routes like that stuff like that okay so every time right that was man coverage i forgot to audible but those those type of routes are always going to be open all right as you see here boom money all right so just those little routes man like that are gonna get and play in between zones all right cool so now we're on cover three and even if they pinch all right i'm running just a simple play like this it's this play is called stick spacing so any sort of lots of dig routes lots of stuff like that all you do is make your read boom he's money all right so you want you want little routes like that that are gonna play under the zones okay so let's say right this is cover three all right they pinch right because that's what typical guys gonna do when they see a type formation is they're gonna pinch but you are in this play right here now what you can even do is you can have triangle now this is just an example this is not a scheme but just so you guys kind of get the idea is switch it up a little bit so what i'm going to do is triangle is probably going to be open so i'm going to motion this guy out all right call hike triangle is going to be open and i get a solid five yards okay um something else let's say he, he stopped that the first time then i'm going to do the same thing all right except this time i'm, I'm going to put circle on a slant and i'm gonna put x on a streak motion this guy out all right as you see here that cover three clouds over there swerve catch get a nice little first down you just kind of mix it up a little bit you know what i mean every it, it really just depends you have to learn how to you just gotta learn how to you know you gotta learn how to play you gotta learn what routes go where all right so z spot and go all right z spot and go right nice little cover three all right bunch like i said bunch is very good you always want to have some sort of uh you always want to have some sort of a uh, streak and a slant combo or streak and an out combo or streak and a dig route combo something like that okay you can motion this guy out and you can put him on a little dig route in the middle of the field right doesn't matter but for this case let's just say i think that guy's blitzing or whatever i'm gonna have him right there I'm gonna have the running back actually on that dig route you see how i'm switching it up because i want to motion him out right i want to motion this guy out but if i move the tight end over and i want to put him on that route now I, i'm not going to be able to move and motion that receiver out but you kind of have to you know you got to play around with it you got to figure out kind of what you want to run and so a motion out route is a really good way to beat cover three so i'm just gonna go ahead and block him or i'll put him on a delay fade and then i'm gonna have the running back in that exact same route motion this guy out boom i have the out route all right as you see here could roll out i could hit this guy i can do something like that so you just kind of play around with it you know what i mean all right so now we're in the red zone right and i'm gonna show you a little red zone money play all right you're probably gonna see uh over g something like this let me be on the d-line so they play we're probably going to be for a cover three guy in the red zone probably something like this right now remember you can do stuff like this okay you can have an out route on circle uh this route on square gets he gets under the zone so he he gets inside of that curl flat you know what i mean so you can motion this guy out and you can have him on a smart route uh it's either and my reads are either my first read is square triangle uh, or sometimes r1 okay so it kind of just depends but as you see here square is going to be money that route's amazing against cover three in the red zone very very good play let's do it again let's base align right and then as you see here uh what you could even do is you could even streak square i mean uh, uh you could streak circle my bad all right so you can streak circle uh you can have r1 you know on a slant route now the only reason he's on a slant route is to occupy the user okay but as you see here boom square is going to be money just about every every single time uh really really good route in the red zone 
All right, so another way to beat cover three is to go to five wide. Like I said, you know, five wide. Um, you can do strong curl right here, or you can do four verts, okay? It really doesn't matter, but let's say, you know, the typical red zone defense is going to be that, right? They're probably going to base, base the line, pass commit, user somebody in the middle. All right, first thing I would do is probably streak, um, both guys i probably streak both slot guys and then i just pick boom you know you see that all the time so that's a great way to beat cover three in the red zone is just to go five wide and go verts man that's really it uh, is to have one of these sort of combos right here all right so i have i have an in route right here all right I'll put this is kind of like a flood okay if you don't know what a flood is flood is a out route with the streak route with the flat okay but you're gonna be able to get just pick and choose on the right side um running five wide is best if you run five wide kind of in the middle you don't necessarily need to be on a hash all right but first read is going to be triangle okay it's going to be one of the seam routes remember seam routes are always a weak spot get that into your brain all right so we're gonna run that again all right now we're gonna look at all right as you see here you see here boom he's gonna get right in between those zones a little slant route so if the user goes for the shriek you hit him below as you can have two streaks what that's gonna do is free up r1 see what i'm saying so what you're doing is you're you're forcing that safety to come down because he's in a mid read you're going to force the safety right here to match on to the tight end and the video off right coming here right they want to be in you know cover three or whatever it is um if they press or whatever all you're going to do is you may just want to roll out to the right I'm putting I'm putting the double right on the defensive end and on the linebacker I'm putting the mic blitz okay so what that's gonna do is give me a little chop block animation boom I roll out any sort of rollout crossing route is gonna be money in the red zone uh you're gonna be able to throw nice dots man uh I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it's a little bit long but I had to cover everything that I could and then you can kind of mess around with it and get a feel for it and then you'll kind of know your plays and stuff like that but uh yeah man go kill it out there uh cover four coming soon all right that's gonna be the next upload probably uh, if not a gameplay upload it's gonna be that cover four and ebooks coming soon for ten dollars uh I'll, like i said you know i would never charge you guys over 10 bucks so and they're gonna be well worth the money so yeah with that man you guys take care peace out